Today, I want to speak of God's unfailing mercy, the benefits of God's unfailing mercy, how God receives our prayers, even if we haven't been in good standings with him. This is Pastor Irving and Barrett. This is Time with God Morning Prayer. Scripture today is going to be Psalm 66 and 20. I'm going to read both the King James and the New Living Translation. Blessed be God, who hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Psalm 66 and 20, King James Version, New Living Translation. Praise God, who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. Psalm 66 and 20, New Living Translation. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever and ever and ever. This is a testimony of answered prayer, God's unfailing mercy toward his people. It is amazing, and it, this Psalms is a declaration of praise and gratitude to God for his unfaithfulness in hearing prayer and answering prayer, and for the mercy that he extends unto his people. The psalmist acknowledges that God has not rejected his prayer, nor withheld his steadfast love from him. The uniqueness of this passage, there are a few things. First of all, God is faithful in hearing prayer. The psalmist recognizes that God has not turned away his prayers, which suggests that God is always attentive to the cries and the calls of his people, providing assurance that he listens and he responds. That's amazing because there are, some, there are times when we're not in good fellowship, not in harmony, not in not in good standings with the Lord, but he still hears our prayers, even if we've strayed away from him. That should be comforting to someone. The second thing is God's enduring mercy. The psalmist also is grateful for God's continued mercy and in indicating the love of God and the compassion of God is ever, pres ever present. Mercy here refers to God's grace, his forgiveness, and willingness to help even when people fall short. Then number three, his personal reflection and testimony is unique. He says that the verse is a personal testimony expressing a deep sense of gratitude toward God. The psalmist is again reflecting on his own experience in God's intervention, making it a reminder unto others of God's goodness and his kindness. So this verse can serve as a reminder unto believers to give thanks for answered prayer and his continued mercy. But it also emphasizes the importance of maintaining faith in God and God's willingness to hear us and to respond to our needs, even when circumstances and situations seem difficult. It encourages us to remain prayerful and to trust in God's enduring mercy. But then there are a few more things that I see here. There's God's grace in answered prayers. The verse highlights for us God's grace and his mercy. It suggests that prayer is not just about making requests unto God and expressing needs unto God and waiting for God's favor and his presence. But it is acknowledging that God is hearing prayer and it is an expression of his grace. It is it is the grace of God that allows him to receive our request and to embrace our, our call, even uh, in times that we're out of fellowship and out of harmony with him. And then it's also a celebration of God's unfailing love. The psalmist uses the word mercy, which reflects God's covenant love. Hebrews the word, the Hebrew word that is used is chaste, which represents his loyalty and his faithful love toward us. And the psalmist is providing that is, is providing proof and that God's love does not fade or fail, even in times when we may feel unworthy or distant from him. But then finally, there's God's role as protector and provider. Here he is implying that God has protected and has guarded his people. He's possibly in a moment of danger or in a difficult situation, and 
It shows the compassion of God by not withholding his mercy at a time that maybe he could, but he decides that he won't. It reflects the idea that God responds to our pleas for help, especially in times of desperation and offers protection, provisions, and relief unto his children. So here's our, here's our takeaway here. First of all, we, we're encouraged to pray. Prayer is always in order. No matter where you are, what, what standings or status or place you are with God, prayer is always in order. For those who feel that their prayers go unanswered, this verse suggests that God is always listening and it's encouragement that God does, does listen and that, and that God does answer and he will respond in his own time. It reassures us that God is always near and always attentive. And that's good news today. But then there's also the praise and the thanksgiving. The psalmist again believes and encourages us to offer praise and thanksgiving unto God, recognizing God's mercy in both small and significant ways fostering a heart of gratitude and strengthen, strengthening our relationship with him. Then there's a call to trust God. The verse also teaches that regardless of our circumstances, we can trust God's mercy. He is merciful unto us and he um, He is looking forward to blessing us. It is a part of his unchanging nature to be merciful toward his people. And then finally today, in conclusion, it calls us to reflect on the goodness and the mercy of God in our lives. It causes us to look over the circumstances and situations of our lives. And it serves as a reminder that our prayers are not in vain and that God's love is constant toward us even when we don't see immediate response or immediate action, our prayers are always heard unto God. He does not turn a deaf ear unto us, that he hears us. He may not answer immediately, but he answers in his own time, in his own way. And so the suggestion here is to keep praying, keep believing, keep trusting God. And, and in time, the Lord will hear us. He will answer us. Uh, that he always hears us, but he will answer us in time. And he will bless us according to his plan and his purpose. Thank God for this word today. I pray that it blesses you beyond my st stammer, stutter, and blunders. I pray that it blesses you. Let's go to God in prayer. God of love, peace, mercy, and understanding, how thankful we are that you always hear us that you're always listening and that you're ready to come to our rescue. Thank you for having an attentive ear unto your children. Thank you for listening to us when we call upon your name. We call upon you today, thanking you for today, thanking you for this time, for this moment, for this opportunity to be alive. There were many who went to sleep last night who did not wake up today, but you have given us another opportunity and we are so blessed and so thankful. We're grateful for your grace and your mercy, for your loving kindness, for your divine favor, and all the wonderful things that you do. Thank you, God, because you hear us and you answer us. We come today praying for blessings and favor, praying for your grace and mercy, asking for your hand of protection to be upon us, and asking, dear Master, that you would look down from heaven and that you would reign from above with grace, with mercy, with peace, with divine favor and that you would bless us abundantly in the precious name of Jesus the Christ. We come praying for our educators and administrators our teachers and um, civil leaders. We pray for um, those in authority, those in rule. We pray for both elected and appointed officials. We lift them up unto you. We pray for pastors and churches and we pray for those social organizations that attend to the needs of our society. God, we thank you for caring people with hearts of gold. We pray that you would continue to pour into them as they pour into others. Thank you for first responders and for all that they do to keep our communities and our homes safe. We pray blessings upon them, their families, their homes, and pray that you'll continue to watch over and be by their side. We pray for peace in our world. 
a world that is filled with so much violence and so much so much hatred and so much confusion in so many places. We pray for peace, peace that passes all understanding and for oneness with you. Please hear our prayer. We're lifting up those who are sick today and praying for healing and for deliverance. We're praying for blessings to be in the lives of your people, those who are wrestling with various conditions, the many conditions that they may be struggling with. We pray that you'll hear an answer of prayer, that you would heal and deliver, and that you'll set free according to your divine plan and purpose. Lifting of those that are in the hospitals, those who have gone through procedures, those who may have had some type of attacks or some issue that they're plagued with or that they're confronting, we pray, God, that your healing power and healing virtue will be upon them. Lifting of those with heart disease, lung disease, mental challenges, cancer, various viruses and plagues. We're lifting up the aging seniors and even those who are transitioning, knowing and believing, God, that you are very much able, even now, to provide strength and comfort. Please have mercy in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lifting up Mr. Van Drummond, praying for Greta and Eric, praying for John Powell and Susie, praying for Stan and Tony Polk, lifting up Yandy Kyles, uh, praying for Shirley Rosen, and as well praying for Marvin, uh, praying for Hal Roker, lifting up um, Sam Proctor, and praying for the Benford and Proctor family, praying for Berlina and her son, lifting up her son, and especially praying for his healing, praying for Lisa and Terry, lifting up Jane, praying blessings upon the Labu family and more family. We pray, God, that you'll be with them, lifting up Ken as well. Praying, God, that you'll touch Ken and that you'll grant healing for his body and that you'll bless him in the name of Jesus the Christ. We're lifting up Cheryl Grant, Pastor A.C. Stapleton, Pastor Donald Parson, praying for Pastor Luther Williams and Pastor Albert Haynes, Pastor Eshawn Williams, especially praying for his dad, Deacon Williams and blessings upon his life and continued restoration according to your power. Praying for Pastor Robert Walker, Pastor Byron Jackson, Pastor Daryl Horton, Pastor James Tucknick, lifting up and praying for Pastor Sister Eddie Brown, Elder and Sister King, Deacon and Sister Jackson, Sylvester Sampson, um, Ronald and Yvonne Cartwright, Dorothy Smith, Ray Williams, Anthony Johnson. Praying for the Armstrong and Braggs family, lifting up baby Franklin and praying for continued healing and for our continued blessings for that family and blessings for baby Franklin. Uh, lifting up the Ryan's family, the Braggs family, Coxies, Johnson, Rock, Noble, Howard, Sims, Calhoun, the Blue, Polk, Spazito, Igana, Cassandra, and Joseph, praying for us. Shannon and lifting up Shannon, praying for her strength and blessings to be upon her. Praying for Ife Iker, Deanne Ramos, Doris Harris, Shawnee Wright, Linda Bird, Sandra Thornton, Mother Rock, Samuel Barrett, Brown Musafa, Derek Streamley, Kenneth Fabian in India, Matt, Calvin Teterton, Denise D. Fairley, Darius D. Timmons. Praying for Kathy Burks, praying for Catherine, Sandy, Sandra, Terry Hornsby, Wendy Doty. All of those that are at the heritage, we lift them up to, unto you. Pray for Tom. Pray blessings upon Tom and as well upon uh, Bill. And pray blessings upon each of them. Lift up John unto you and praying God that they're blessed wherever they are and that they're found in your favor. I pray for these, these men. Be blessed. Be, uh, provide blessings for them, dear God, according to your plan and purpose. Lift up Timothy Cliff, Cameron Foley. Pray for my family. Blessings for my family. Lift up Nicolette, Irvin, and Nadia. Continue favor and blessings for each of us. I pray that you'll keep us. And as you have blessed each and every one of us with so much, we pray that you will give us the wherewithal to accomplish and to uh, achieve every goal, every objective, to operate in favor in all the things that you have called on us to do and that we will be able to uh, aspire into the area that it is that is that we are called and as well that you would bless us in everything that we attempt to do please God hear and answer my prayer I pray as well that the day will be strong that we will be met by grace and mercy and divine favor and that you will uh, that you will allow your 
favor to rest upon us in everything that we say and do, that you will bless our businesses, bless our health, bless our homes, bless our communities, bless our finances, bless our relationships, that you would just bless us abundantly. And even in those areas where we may experience some challenges, friction, and difficulty, we pray that you will allow us to come through it successfully and effectively according to your will and plan. We know that you do all things well and that there is no failure in you. And so we trust and believe that you're able to handle our every situation. Great is your faithfulness to God. And so we pray that you would hear and answer our prayer. Bless us now in the precious, perfect, and powerful name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen and thank God. Blessings to you. Thank God for this day, Monday morning, and how blessed we are that we're able to start a brand new day and a brand new week. I pray that the week is great for you and that God does some amazing things for you, that he grants you favor and blessings from on high, and that he abundantly, abundantly provides for you every need. And this is Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. This is Time with God Morning Prayer and Devotion. As we share with God every morning, as we share with scripture and as well a prayer, I pray that it is encouraging and uplifting. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to receive your prayer requests, praise reports, and as well your words of testimony. So why not drop me an email, Pastor ILB, Pastor ILB at AOL.com, or drop some comments in the chat or message me through any social media platform. Have an amazing day. May God be with you. Make his face to shine upon you and grant you peace. May you find success and favor in all that you do. And please know nothing's going to happen to you today that God has not equipped and prepared you to handle. He's given you every tool, every resource that you need for success and for favor. So trust God. Believe God. Have faith in God. Know that God has everything under control. Be blessed. Have an amazing day. One last thing. Candle does not lose anything by lighting another candle. They both continue to shine. So pour into someone's life today. Be blessed.